Manchester United 3, Newcastle 2. What a game. What a game of football at the old, at Old Trafford. Now, um, what did I say in my last game when we lost to Crystal Palace? I said that although I'm not the biggest Bruno Fernandes fan, his absence against Crystal Palace was, was clear. We didn't have no creativity in that game in the attacking third when transitioning. This game against Newcastle at home at Old Trafford in the Premier League is... Uh, Dude, Bruno Fernandes, dude, again, I don't like how he's proving me right, but the fact is that if he continues with his performances, home, both home and away, then he is a key guy. He's a key guy. And he's a, he's, he's even when we're playing bad, he's been a key guy. Let's be honest. Even when he's not having his best game, he pings out a pass and he assists. He pings out a goal and he scores. And he, that's it when he's not playing. But in this game, though, in this game, he was all over the place, man. This is a guy that's com coming back from injury. So you would have expected someone just come back from injury, number one, not to be starting, and number two, not to be giving that effort, exerting that effort that he gave into that performance. That was a 4.5 perf performance rating from me. But let's go to the game itself. Which, well, I was talking about it. But Manchester United as, as a whole, um, in the first minutes, man, Newcastle were, they were stifling us. We couldn't get out of our own box. We couldn't even get out of our own half. And uh, a few times, we couldn't even get... They were pressing the life out of us. They were making their intentions known that we are going to score and win at Old Trafford. And we couldn't allow that because we need uh, European qualification and giving a Chelsea one year game against Brighton we need to win this game bro we needed to win this game so it's not a question or if or but we needed to win this game and we did that but see in the initial minutes though Newcastle were trying to put do they, they, they could have been two three nil up in under 20 minutes Isaka had chances Gordon had a, a, a couple of chances um this uh th this uh this this time where um I think he was he went down uh gonna uh gonna show. Gordon going through Gordon and Gonacho. <laughs> it's funny when they play left wing. Gordon was going through an hour goal and both Casemiro I think Casemiro gave away the ball, I'm not sure. But Casemiro and both Amar Amar Amarbot and Casemiro went for him and person person thought that was a foul. That looked like a foul to me, bro. That looked like a foul to me. Is me. But Amrabat, dude, this is the reason why I'm not for Amrabat at Manchester United. He should not be playing for Manchester United. He's not quick enough. He's not agile. And he doesn't have the high IQ to be playing in that position. When you're playing in the Premier League, when you're playing as a deep loan, a, a, a defensive midfielder, you're, and you're collecting the ball off of the centre-back, expect to be pressed. Express, expect to be um, pressured from the opposition because you're looking to win the ball back from you. So, you know, get it. And even if they get it, they're going to look it, they're going to look into getting it from you. And Amrabat gave away the ball a couple of times and so did Casemiro. But Casemiro redeemed himself because he, 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 he cleared the ball off the line, which I think, in my opinion, looked like his score because he told the major, I think the majority of the ball was over the line, but apparently it has to be completely over the line. Dude, I'm not I'm not done with these technical stuff because that's a goal in my opinion. You see me? I saw the ball. It was mostly above the goal. But that's just my opinion. I know I'm delusional, but our brother is giving his delusional thoughts on this game. So with that being said, we go get a goal. It was a very good goal. Who scored the first goal? Kobe Minor, the composure of this young guy. This guy is playing like he's 28. He's just 20. He's just 20. Hold on, he's what 18? I'm talking about 20. Hoyland is 20. Well, actually, Hoyland is 21. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, dude, this, I'm, I'm even speech. I can't even talk. Kobe Mino, at least 18 years old. Dude, this guy is very composed. This guy bathes in cold water daily. Nothing phases this guy. He, When he got the ball in a position to score, he was like, oh, I got the ball at my foot. Boom, go. One nil. It was that easy. And even in his celebration, it wasn't like, oh, yes, man, I'm in score. I'm in score. He was like, yo, calm down, man. It's just one year. Listen, it's in the first half. Calm down. Yeah, co yeah you know, courtesy of Kobe Minus. Yeah, man, it's all good, man. It's all easy. Calm down. Calm, calm down. Calm down. 
that's the that's the aura that he that he exuberates on the pitch. You see me and and uh, dude, this version has to be stolen because I don't even know how this guy <laughs> has a composure at eighteen years old. Like I said, bro, I don't know, you know, I don't know, but person may say, oh, it's oh, it's African blood in him. It's African blood in him. Speaking of African blood, let me say this about um um Amadiola. I've said that in my in my match reaction. Amadiola should be starting over Anthony. On the right hand side, he should be starting over. This is not in a question. In terms of both players, both player profiles, Anthony can come off the bench, but he should not be starting over Ahmad Diallo. And it's funny how this brethren, this 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 guy, everything Hog has started him. It has taken everything Hog of all people to be starting him. After like three years, he's been at the club. Uh, 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 Ahmad Diallo. Because even under Goli Gunnar Solskjaer, he wasn't starting as much. Um, Ragn under Ragnik, he was non-existent. I think he was on loan. So him come back to Manchester United on, on the bench. I know he's playing games and, he, and, and, and he's playing with confidence. Beating players, looking, you know, composed, match fit. And, and he had a couple of chances to score, man. Is it me? I'm getting to his goal. Don't, don't think I, I, I forgot because I didn't forget. It's me. But in the second half, we knew it was coming. That pressure from Newcastle burst our pipe. Them go equalize. We knew it was coming, you know. The ch dude, you cannot be creating chances after chances. I'm missing chance after chance. I know things so someone go score. It don't make no sense. So when I saw that ball, uh, I think it was from Trippy, that spam cross cross the, the, the face of the box into the path of Gordon. I was not surprised because I knew this was coming at some point. And it was coming at some point based on how Newcastle were playing their game. Isn't me? So it was 1-1. You know, no clean sheet. Um, so yeah. Uh, skip, skip. Yeah, so Bruno Fernandes, man, in midfield, he's the difference, man. And Casemiro, you know, Casemiro had, uh, you know, he's so, you know, he saved or some conceding uh, early. But this is not the same Casemiro, bro. This is not the same Casemiro, is me? And that 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 pains me. It really does pain me because I would have thought that he would have been, you know, the main guy in our midfield. And you know, some eighteen year old guy is our main guy in midfield. You know. And for an eighteen year old guy seeing a, an experienced guy like Casemiro making mistakes like that, I'm pretty sure he's asking his head, What's going on here? Why is he making mistakes like that? These kindergarten mistakes. Is me, but in the game, man. Let me finish this match reaction. Oh, and also, I'm going to touch on Rafael Veron after this um this feature. So in the rest of the game, um, who else scored? Yeah, uh, who else scored, man? Oh, I miss. Oh, Amadiolo, what a hit! What a one time hit! No, it wasn't the most um. It didn't. It didn't. It it went kind of straight to the goalkeeper, but it beat him for pace though. The keeper couldn't. The, the keeper couldn't save that. He would have had holes. I don't even think he would have any hands. The ball would just go through his hands just like that. Is me so the fact that him got score that goal. It just show. It, it, it just it just proves the thought that he should be starting on the right hand side, cause that's the right choice. So we are two on. We are in front. Hoyland came on, Rashford came on. Man, Rashford made his 400th appearance. And he scored 131 goals in our competition and 64 assists. Now, some person may sniff their nose and say, this Bridging should have had over 200 goals. And says, But the thing is that that's, that's decent numbers. I'm not the biggest person on numbers because I'm all about what I with this, but that's decent numbers, though. That's decent numbers from uh, 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 Rashford. But yeah, Rash, uh, Hoyland came on, you know, Chicha came on, Martinez came on from injury, get so much, you know, so much minutes on this belt, is, you know, just so much fitness. And Hoyland got a goal, Bruno Fernandes assisted it, and uh, Hoyland with his right foot, you know, he was trying to beat him, then he went on the right hand side, with his right foot just crossed the face of the goal and scored a four post. 
So 3 1. You thought the game was done. Then them go score one another consolation goal 3 2. It was a very good goal. Onana was not going to save that. Not even with a prayer. I don't even care if he's at the nearest Roman Catholic church on bended knees. That he was never going to save that goal. That's way out of his reach. You see me? He's a short goalkeeper. Anyway, so he didn't go get to that. You see me? So, um, oh, there was this, there was this point in the game. I'm all over, I'm all over the place. They could have scored when Wan Bissaka made that mistake. You see me? What God was a saint was watching over Wan Bissaka because if Isa cut on his golden uh, golden boots, the golden boots, his boot is scoring boots, he would have scored that. Amiran got a chance at the at the far post to go score and and and, and he was a, a couple of seconds short. You know my right he arrived second short uh short. So the fact is that we won this game, but this is a game where we could have lost. That's the reality. Based on the chances that Newcastle created and taken. But because it was in our favor and God was merciful to us, we go, we go win the game 3 2. We go win the game 3 2. So, yeah, give me your thoughts on all this game. Um, quickly. <laughs> 